Lucy. And I'm Barney. Welcome to KTV Cookbook. It's Chinese New Year, so today we're cooking pork chow mein. Let's get started. Um, what we've got here is, well, this was four um, slices of pork tenderloin. I got it from Sainsbury's. It's, it's nice and cheap and easy to get hold of. Um, here we've got uh, one large onion, but uh, sliced, in, sliced thinly so it can fry nice and quickly. Um, now I've got these rice noodles. Um, you can get these round about the place. I actually got these from a, an Asian supermarket. Very nice and cheap for quite a lot. Um, here we have corn flour. Now, don't worry if you don't have this. This is only to make the sauce just that little bit thicker um, and like the kind of experience you get at a Chinese restaurant. And here we have one yellow pepper and one red pepper uh, cut thinly into slices like the onions so it can fry quickly in the wok. Very nicely. And then as well we've got, you'll need one tablespoon of oil, five tablespoons of light soy sauce, one clove of garlic which you'll need to crush, and also, this is optional. If you can find five spice, then get that. If not, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's... An optional extra flavour. Yeah, just to give it that authentic kind of kick to it. Authenticity. So all we're going to do first is put the sauce together to put with the noodles. So what you're going to need is five tablespoons of the light soy sauce, which Lucy's putting in just now. And whilst you're doing that, I'll give you a hand and put in the teaspoon. Five spice. Yeah, five spice. Um, ooh, difficult wrapper. Oh, it's upside down, no it's not. Ah, there we are. Now you, only, you don't need too much of it because it's quite strong. But, um, oh yeah, I can smell it. Mm, it's, it's good though, it's, it, smells, it smells... It smells good, it mm. smells Chinesey. Um, and you just put in only half a teaspoon here. Just give that a stir. Now don't worry if it's kind of some bits floating on the top. It, like when you put it in amongst the, um, the noodles and everything like that, it'll be, it'll be fine. And then... You also do your corn flour. Like I said earlier, though, the corn flour is only just to make it that little bit thicker, just so that it's not, you know, a watery, mm. yeah. a, a too watery sauce. And in we go. And just give it a good Lovely. stir, Thank you. just so you can. And if if there are bits at the top um, of your sauce, what you should do is just get the spoon and just use the back of it to crush the, the flour, and it'll it'll dissolve a lot yeah. easier. Hold on, just a little bit left. A little bit there. There we Perfect. go. Right, so next up, what you've got to do is you've got to prepare the noodles. Now, preparing the noodles is quite easy. Um, all you have to do is get water, which I've just had boiling away over here, um, to boiling, and then you just turn off the heat, take out your noodles, and just plop them in and have them submerged in the water, and then you just wait for them to go nice and soft, because no one likes eating hard noodles, do they? I certainly don't. No. So how's the sauce coming along? It's coming along nicely. It's all blended. It's all ready. Well, that... Perfect. And in that case, it's perfect timing to get going with the wok, to get the stir-frying on the roll. Okay. Okay, so next up, you want to put a splash of oil in your pan and then pop your wok on the heat, get it nice and hot, ready to cook your pork. And once, once the oil is nice and hot, you, you are ready to wok and roll. <laughs> That's just terrible, I know. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, so now you want to put on the pork. Put on the pork. The onions. Get in the pork. Stuck. Go on, get it all on there then. <laughs> onions. Onion. And you want your peppers in there as well. And the peppers. Now what you want to do about um, stir frying is you want to try and get everything around the edges of the wok. Because the idea is that the wok is supposed to be hot all around the sides as well. That way everything will cook nice and evenly and quickly as well. Which is kind of the aim of the game with stir frying. So there you go. You just try and get it nice kind of flat. So there you go. And, like that. and now you add your little bit of garlic. So just stir that all around the place. Now what we want to do is wait for the pork to be nice and cooked. And once that's cooked, we're going to put the sauce in um, and along with the noodles. So, right, the noodles are ready. 
Okay, so now they're all drained, Barnaby, if you'd add your noodles to my wok. It'd be my pleasure. Right, and in we go. So just stir yeah. that all around. So now the noodles are all in here. Uh, let's get this uh, nice and saucy, eh? Here we go. And this is just the, all the flavours you want to get. Want to get all of it nice and brown. Okay, so once everything's cooked through, you're all ready to serve. Barnaby, you have to be honest. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. Have to say, oh, well, I try my best. Here we are. So for ladies first. I have to say though, this meal is it's, it's a nice, quick meal to do. You know, if you've got the if you've got the ingredients knocking about. You know, you can add in whatever you want as well. It doesn't strictly have to be pork. It could be chicken or fish or anything. Like that, really. Carrots in there as well. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, before we go, we want to give a massive thank you to Father Peter Galbard and the Catholic Society for letting us use uh, the kitchen at St John's Stonehouse. Mm -hmm.